So we're here with Kale Toy Box today, Instagram sensation. <laughs> and Kale, I've been, like, honestly, man, like when I started Instagram, which was I should remember when I started because I just created that mental video uh, about, about like it, it was like January two thousand and is it nineteen? I said I can't even remember that video was just taking so much out of me. But twenty nineteen, and you were one of the first Instagram toy accounts that. I followed. I think like you were. Yeah, I followed you right back. I'm like, man, that's dope. I don't know. I just, I just let. I was in a following. I'm in a following. Thing. Like, if you, if you're posting like articulate and like you have like a steady stream of stuff, even if it's months out, but it's still like what I'm doing, then I'll have a better yeah. chance of following you because it's like your stuff will influence me. So then I'll just keep yeah. going, and then I see more and more. So then I keep following more and more and more people. I don't yeah. care. If I'm following way more than who is following me. You know, that doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. It's cool. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm just following people that are doing the same thing as me, and we're just, I want to connect with them. That's basically what it is. I want to share their stuff, you know? I just want to blow them up for no reason. (laughs) So (laughs) first question, anyway, well, where I wanted to start was Instagram, but actually, because I'm putting quite a a bit of um, attention into YouTube, I thought I'd start there, because Instagram is where I first found you, and then the next thing was quickly, like, YouTube, because I, I started my Instagram and YouTube pretty much next to each other, pretty much, like, two days apart or whatever, so... The first thing I did was search to find out what other folk are doing in the toy community on YouTube, and it's like quite bare to be honest. There's loads of toys. Very bare. It's toy very bare. Very, it's very mainstream. There's not. Um, there's not a lot going on. But it's all just like so. I can't remember. There's a guy that does like really, really good like transformer stuff, but like it looks like a ton of folk just stick to like the one niche. It's like so. If I'm a, like I'm, I'm just sticking to transformers, and that's it. And then they don't ever like go away from that but i mean there probably is loads of youtubers out there yeah, but, but the, the good thing with transformers is like sometimes you can like sneak a megazord in there or sneak a third yeah. party robot because yeah. it transforms so that's what's cool about transformers is there's actually like little secret holes that you can like plop stuff in if you just don't yeah. have a figure yeah. that's like up to the criteria of what you're doing but you're like oh i need a space filler this will take like 10 minutes and then you end up really liking it and the video is a little bit longer then yeah. more people come and then they're like wow that's really cool and then it grows but still yeah exactly man so when i started my youtube and instagram journey your youtube was the first thing that popped up to me anyway out of like the searches and like you've done <laughs> quite a bit of reviews and, and things like that so like i mean really raw but like really precise and to the point it was class i enjoyed them anyway um so my first question is are you going back to youtube at all or are you yeah because what happened was, um, so I basically used YouTube as strictly something, it was a, just an experiment. There was no, like I wasn't trying to get monetized, there was nothing yeah. up here, like I want to review some toys that I have and see how I feel about it. And yeah. if other people like it, that's cool, but it was kind of for me to yeah. see what else I could do, you know, because I'm already doing stuff on my phone, I'm already I'm already talking to my friends about new stuff, yeah. I'm running down articulation, I'm watching toy reviews like it's my job um it's not i just think it's fun it's cool to see other people's point of view um it also has helped me save thousands of dollars on purchasing figures that i thought would be excellent and then you find some reviews and most of the time uh there's that one reviewer that you're like yep he's the one he knows like he he connects with me he has the same mindset as me so that that works for me that works for my advantage as other people will find somebody else who does the same thing for them, just kind of justifies your purchases and also keeps you from breaking the bank. When it comes to me in YouTube, again, it was an experiment. And then a couple of them like got, like I was thinking like 50 views, you know what I mean? Just small things. Um, Some of your videos have like, what, like 1200, even more than that. uh, Yeah, there's one that has like 1.2K and then the other one has like 2.2 and it's my, it was my last video. It was my last video. So it was the progression, it was the last video I did before I took a break because I think the lightning collection and the hype drove me. But then when I was going back and I was watching some of my videos, I was like, I can do better. Yeah. Like these were, these were just kind of like prototypes. Like I can do way better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I was watching some of them and I, again, I didn't care about the views or anything like that. I cared about how the content was being presented. So by my, my favorite video that I did that I had the most fun with was the uh, red Ranger armored and gold Ranger exclusive pack or whatever from san diego yeah. comic-con or whatever but yeah. i was excited because it was like the first exclusive that i actually bought besides lord draken 
and it was also like the first exclusive thing for the Lightning Collection, and I was like super, super stoked. And I think that was my mistake. Um, what drove me away from YouTube and what kind of staggered me with mm. photography too, because um, you have to kind of get to know your figures and be able to work them don't have like a set road that I take. I don't just do Power Rangers. I don't just do Transformers. If something else really yeah. cool comes yeah. out and it's super dope, then I want to do that too. Like I want to help them out as well because if yeah. it's going to be good, then I want to be a part of it. I may not get every figure, but I will be contributing to that spot yeah. in the yeah. community. And it will boost me to be like, I'm not narrow-minded. Like I need to, like I like a lot of things and you can like a lot of things and not break the bank. So going yeah. back to YouTube, yeah. that video, um, nobody knew that the power axe from that set could extend and like pull back from gun mode to mm -hmm. axe mode. No one did it. MMPR toys, like Bruno, he does fantastic videos. They're fun. Yeah. They're not yeah. too long. They're straight to the point. They're witty. Is that they're Bruno and Maya's MMPR channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's fun. Um, it's kind of uplifting. You don't have to watch them right when they come out. You can watch them like a month later, and it still feels the same way. Like I end up rewatching some of their videos. We can stop watching stuff that. Like that. It's just outstanding. Love right. it. And, yeah, and it's just, it's just fun. And I think they're one of the best Ranger channels that do everything. There's a lot. You know what I mean? They do Ninja Turtles here and there. They sprinkle Marvel in here. Because there's a lot of really cool things that are like Power Rangers that work well with Power Rangers. I think some um, like strict-minded people like kind of don't like it. And that's fine. But it's nice to see somebody who's like, I don't really, like, I know this is going to hit maybe negatively and affect me in a not-so-great way. But there's people out here who really like this. And if I didn't do it, then I'm only catering to that one breed. I just went off track again. <laughs> it's it is a hard one, man. Like YouTube, like the thing is, like I love YouTube. I think like I've always like wanted to be like a YouTuber, but to the point because like I mean, from that video that I created, kind of tells you like I started getting into photography and videography because of Peter McKinnon, and then I was like, oh, I could do what he could do. So then I was sure. like, it's it's only going out taking photos and then making like a cool video, and then like I found out it's it's not that. It's like you have to have that likability, you have to have the knowledge, you have to be fully sure what you're posting is like up to scratch because anyone, because actually going back to one of my other channels, I've done like a, let's say one of my other channels, my channel, I've done a video called Do You Know Super Sentai? And um, it, it was all right. Like, I mean, I was kind of proud of it, but like all the facts that I put on were what everyone that watches Super Sentai will know, but it was just kind of like a fun kind of video, but I've got loads of comments that are just like, dude, everyone that's a fan of Super I knows in facts come on I was like ah, well yeah but it was just like a test so like it's at the same point I don't know everything about Super Sentai and these little facts were just fun to do it, but it's it's, it's, so big, it's a big big and yeah. there's lots of uh, special things and movies there's always those crossover movies there's so many crossovers with so many different seasons in Sentai that it's mind-boggling to keep up with them yeah um, especially things that like you just missed through the cracks because it's like it's literally an exclusive there yeah. you're not going to see it unless you like pop up on it but um for YouTube my thing was the red Beast Morphers figure that was the last review I did and I enjoyed it yeah and now, I filmed the rest of that wave and then the wave after that. Oh, so did I, you? I, I recorded all of them. I recorded up to, where was it? The last video I did was probably Lord, uh, not Lord, Goldar. It was like one of my last sets and I still have everything still in order set up to do their accessories yeah. and everything like that. I was doing them and every time I watched them back, I, I could tell that I wasn't happy. Right, like okay, I yeah. wasn't giving off a positive vibe from the figure, which is not a good thing. That's not what I want to bring because I thoroughly enjoy them. But at that time, when I was getting them and getting them, getting them, that first wave really hit better yeah. than what came after. And then it just kind of, they just started throwing stuff out at us. Yeah. So we had yeah. uh, the putty two, the putty and Green Ranger two pack, and the Green Ranger's wrong, and I don't care, it's still wrong. You it's know, it's like uh, that two it, pack. It, it doesn't, it doesn't it, make sense. They don't go together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like uh, the yeah. putties were never yeah. in that episode, and no, and it's, it's so many seasons. Uh, yeah. And, like, whatever, I get why you did it. Like, now you can release a regular Green Ranger with something. I don't know. Whatever. Green Candle, do whatever you want to do. Like, we're, we're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they could have had, like, so many of them. They could have just done the... What, what was the episode called? The Fighting Spirit. So, like... They could have done all of them. But, but they didn't do it because Bandai yeah, did it. But they, yeah. Nobody's doing Red Turbo, though. They still, like, nobody's... Everybody keeps skipping Red Turbo because everybody hates Turbo. 
I, I did it. Googled that today. I googled that today to try and find out why they skip turbo, but there's just nothing on it. But like, I, I don't quite understand why they skip turbo on everything. Like, I mean, it's there not my favorite. One of the one. But it's it was it was because it, it brought them down, mm -hmm. and like a lot of people have like it, it's very like simple to follow, and because people have like a straight line opinion about it that. Money from Power Rangers was getting boring because you had the same suit for three seasons, and then you had that odd, very odd miniseries, The Alien Rangers, yeah. which, like, when I rewatch it, I'm like, that was so weird. What? Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, but it wasn't as bad as people like give it credit for. Like, it was very unique. You're not gonna get yeah. something that like, you're not gonna get something like that. We haven't had anything like that in a long time. So it was cool. Mm -hmm. Zio, I don't even know why they left Zio. I think Zio should have just kept going. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was the weirdest switch as well, just from the movie, from Turbo the movie, and then they had like what was the last scene? Was Cat was jumping off a cliff, and she went to the first scene. Like she was, what? That didn't make sense to me either. Even as a little kid, I was probably five or six, and it made no sense. I was like, that doesn't make sense. They morph like this. Like I, I don't understand. It's just a flash of light. They morph. Why? Whatever. And I just like went past it. And the movie, that movie was. I still watch that movie. It's not terrible. There's a lot of cool things, again, that we've yeah. never seen still. There's a lot of yeah. really cool things that we have not seen. That They did their own Zeo Megazord battle. That's, it was cool. You know what I mean? It wasn't Sentai stock footage. They did what they could do, and it came out pretty good for that time. People can hash on it, but what everything else was super corny back then, too. Yeah, exactly. Like Master uh, Eater. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, oh, that I rewatched the uh, first seven episodes of that, and I'm like, oh, okay. This is <laughs> who was the like, was it Fergus? 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 Fever? Fergus? Yeah, he's both. He's lost. And that he was, was uh, uh, who who was inside, like, oh, uh, who was the actor that played that? He did he? Oh, no, his name was Dax. So, was Dax not, like, he, the guy that was like Fergus, he was Ken, the guy that was in Austin Powers, he was like mini me. That oh, was that, that, that's hilarious. What's his name? Vernon something. Yeah, yeah. He but, yeah, he played him, yeah. Uh, but like, I loved Mass Rider. Like, I think like when I was a kid that the Mass Rider and the Power Ranger episode, the crossover, honestly, I, it was bad. I, it so I watched that. I watched that back because we used to record it. Like, my dad used mm. to record the Power Rangers on VHS. I used to watch that back over and over again because there was something off about it. Like, I felt like it just could have been so good. Like, I didn't care that the Pink Ranger wasn't there. Like, I really didn't care about that, but I felt like it could have been bigger. Yeah, they didn't use their weapon yeah. ever, and then mass riders like they was kind of quick, like they oh, didn't yeah. fight any like boss or anything. There wasn't a boss fight; it was just those paired frog things. Oh yeah, yeah. I just felt I felt like it was under hype, but I mean it's so cool. Like it's a cool team up, and it was a cool crossover. But they should have done that with VR troopers. They should have done that with Beetleborgs. They should have like just mashed them all together. They were like back to back. Yeah. On the Mystic on Knights of Pure and Oak. That's, yeah, uh, that's, that's going back to that same era. But like, yeah, it was it was quite good. But um, let's talk about Instagram. Seeing as we're Instagram we're toy photographers and so my first question about instagram anyway is how long have you been on instagram it was 2018 i believe 2017 or 2008 2017 i think it was 2017 like 2008 um is when i started my account but i didn't i had a youtube started but i didn't post anything started taking odd pictures uh in my apartment with not good lighting you know what i mean just kind of taking pictures with like a white background because like when i first started viewing your account like a lot of it was just uh it was just your your figures there a snapshot of this is what i've got and then like you can see like i scrolled through your account today just setting up my questions and then you could see the progression as you scrolled so it went from just taking these like stock sort of photos to then pretty much your collection and then it started you can see like progression to a toy photographer if, if that makes sense. I was going too sense. fast. I was going too fast. And that's what happened to YouTube. I went too fast. I posted too many things. I didn't set myself a schedule. I was just kind of posting. So I couldn't have at that time after like when I saw that my video went big mm. for me mm -hmm. from going from like a like a couple hundred views to a thousand and more like basically yes. overnight and I was like and I rewatched it and I'm like yeah this video is really good like that's what I should have been doing all this time but then I just stepped away from it um, all together after viewing all those videos I was just like I'm gonna take a break and I'm just gonna do some Instagram stuff so with Instagram when I started again you're right I was just taking random random photos of my yeah. the toy that I, that I liked and stuff like that I did like a collection shot a couple of people that I followed for a long time or are big in the Ranger community started following me and liking my stuff, and I thought that was really cool. 
yeah it's not that cool whenever they completely stop because then you realize like am i not posting something right but that was just like a it was like a small thing and i'm like why do i care and i did it so like it was kind of like a it was like a 30 second window where i was like should i try to emulate what i was doing before but i didn't like any of this stuff Mm. It was just quick shot. My friends um, were like, why don't you try to do something else? Put a background behind it, pose them, do something. So then now you start to see some of the some posing. And then I was like, oh, I need a light box. So I was like, oh, I'll buy a light box. It'll work for my YouTube videos. So I started doing videos and posting on Instagram. Yeah. Problem with that, yeah. I was going too fast. I was trying to post like 10 figures at like the same time, like going back and forth. I was taking not great pictures. I was trying to just get a video done. So I was fusing yeah. the two and then you can kind of see like this weird sporadic change in like what I was doing. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to step all the way away from YouTube after this yeah. video, let this yeah. sit. I had like 89 uh, subscribers. It's like, this is no big deal. I'm not making impact. Nobody really even noticed. I think 100 of those people are 100 of people that I know or know of me through Power Rangers 365 on Facebook. Yeah. I don't know. I checked the other day and there's more. <laughs> there's like 121 <laughs> and I haven't posted. Yeah. Much. yeah. It's, so it's, really it's, such a, it's such a hard platform to grow on as well. Because like, I mean, I've not been posting, posting too much to like a schedule, but I have been quite aware of when I'm posting my videos and stuff. I'm struggling to break like, like 100 views and it's it's sometimes just a bit like oh shit like i've spent like so much time on this video but it's not it's your content it's never your content it's just the amount of traffic um yeah, through exactly. what you're posting it all met like your tags matter um, yeah your subject, your yeah. matters there's so many things that matter that you can you can go over it over and over again but like i well, just like, done, I like, kind of cracked it a little bit so like so if you type in toy photography into youtube i managed to get my video to like number oh it was ah so it's number five on the search so like i managed to get it there which has been pretty difficult to do but like it's, it's like, i'll tell you right now the that. reason people aren't looking is because when you when you go on youtube because i know mm -hmm. what i do when you go on YouTube, do you search for things or do you kind of just go off of what is in your feed, refresh bit, like your interest, the things that you've already liked, your yeah. subscriber base, yes. things you just scroll through? Because that's, I feel like that's what a lot of people do. And that's why new, that's why it's hard to find new things. Because when you yeah. search, the same things that you probably already have come up because they're popular because you're one of the people that viewed them the most. So yeah. now you miss out on all these other really great creators and just because they don't have high numbers or monetize or yeah. have the 4K definition given thousands of dollars worth of products away yeah. um, aren't worth it. Because I've found plenty of people who have less than a thousand views who produce great content. Yeah, They barely have any yeah. subscribers and they have great content. It's solid. It's exactly what you need to know or want to hear. Um, and it's, it's not even like they're trying. It's what they're interested in. Yeah. So it's 100%. But the problem is there's people who have already done it, started in 2008, whenever this platform started to yeah. grow. And they just, they're just there. They're there. That's the... I don't know, like the OG, I guess. You yeah, yeah. So then it makes it hard for you to come up because you're not doing what's trending, but it's yeah, what you're interested yeah. in. You don't want to do what's trending. Yeah, no, nah, exactly, man. Exactly. It's just, uh, but it's, it's that thing, you know, you'll know yourself when you've created like this video that's taken because making a YouTube video is difficult. It's difficult because you need to make sure that it's entertaining for the person and also entertaining for you to edit it. Because I mean, I've found that there's been loads of videos that I've created and I've got bored editing them and then I've watched them back and I've got bored and I'm like, oh, oh God, the fan board, the other person. That's exactly what happened with my the other videos that I had made. It's just they weren't fun. Like the the yeah. Beast Morphers one yeah. wasn't like perfect, but it was fun. I could watch it back, and if I laugh when I watch it back, if like they I find myself funny, funny, then I'm like, okay, this is that. This will make this, at least five people will think this is funny. You know what yeah. I mean? At least five. And the funniest, the me. funniest toy photographer, eh, photographer anyway, toy kind of channel I've seen recently is like, have you ever heard of like Jobby the Hawk? Yeah, he's hilarious. Like, he's he's amazing. a little over the top sometimes, but he's hilarious, and it makes and he also makes it relatable, and he's very factual. He mixes yeah. them all together, yeah. but he's one of those people who just has that personality to mix them together. Some yeah. people can't just yeah. do the wild and crazy, um, and like say the very, <laughs> the very <laughs> vulgar things that he says. Yeah. But he's also yeah. reviewing the figure, and he's just being funny. He's not like trying to downplay the figure at all or no. offend yeah. anyone. He's just trying to have fun with it, so people are interested and yeah. find some humor instead of just being very serious about some plastic. There's been so many times <laughs> I've wanted to like buy one of his t-shirts but Jobby yeah. means something completely different in Scotland so I just, I just, can't, wear <laughs> I just can't wear it. So. <laughs> Another thing for Instagram anyways, I mean you've been on it for for a few years now, who are your current favourites on, on Instagram? I know this is putting you on the spot but I it's... I try to yeah. never have favourites. I try to never have favourites um, because mm -hmm. when you do have like, uh, besides 
reviewers like i have a i have a thing for reviewers but that's youtube for instagram yeah, i try yeah. not to even yeah. try not to even favor anybody because somebody could be super established but there's somebody who isn't yeah and they're posting yeah. like fire yeah like fire they're posting fire like make, blows my mind sometimes where i see these people who took the time built their own dioramas and then i go and like they have all these likes and stuff and like likes don't really mean anything because they barely have any subscribers and you're yeah. like wow there's, there's like there's fire after fire after fire yeah. And then just what they want to post and then fire. And it's like, it's very, very nice to see, like, not like yeah. over ambitious. Like every time I'm going to do this crazy explosion, every time it's going to be this, every time it's going to be this, like, I, I understand they're beautiful. Yeah. You're going to get yeah. a lot of views. It's what it's the trending kind of style. Toy pick community with like the whole Olympics thing. Yeah. That's yeah. Badass. It's amazing. That's, that's, that's badass. super badass. And you know what? Some of the overlooked photos in those tags should have like been boosted more, but I bet they just posted late. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what's yeah. weird about tags. If you don't post within this 15 minute window, people say an hour, but if you don't post, sometimes it's it's switched from 11. If you don't post by 11.15, people have already liked basically everything in there. Yeah, yeah. And, anything, yeah. and so then all the good stuff starts to get pushed to the top and then your stuff gets left at the bottom. That's just for people who like want to engage with more people. Yeah. Um, and I only use them because like I'm in, I'm in a chat and they use them and we all like each other's photos. It's easier for me to see them because I can just look at the tag. And then I see hundreds of beautiful pictures of all types of figures, whether it be a PVC figure of a Pokemon figure, a Digimon from way back in the day. Yeah. A dollar store yeah. figure, something they made, handmade, a Funko Pop anything can look better than something that has been established because yeah i feel yeah. like the people who have less followers and stuff like myself i mean i don't know how i got to where i was i think people just like that i post at mm. least four times a week if not three or more and i don't really like some of the stuff like if i don't like it i'm gonna delete it i don't care like if i don't yeah. like it when i'm going through it i'll delete it if i'm gonna redo it i delete the old one but i leave the like a fresher copy so i redid all yeah. of common Rider yeah. black rx's forms but i left my old kind of like pictogram version of it well like a collage i guess yeah yeah and because i like it it was crisp but it wasn't outside so i've been trying to do everything outside and maximize the likes without moving anywhere without going yeah. i have this hundred yard thing that i've been doing in here and there you'll get like one of those fire pictures from me that i took at somebody else's house because i was like doing some work for them and yeah. i'm like hey can i take a picture by your water fountain yeah anytime you want you're not doing any harm i'm like yeah Every time I go there, I'm taking a fire ass picture and I'll save it and then I'll post it. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to my mom's house, their backyard's dope. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and save them. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah. what I, those are, those are the fire ones. I always have fire saved. So sometimes I just, but a lot of them are just out where I live. Uh, people yeah. are like, why don't you change your, change your location, change your location. I'm like, I'm not even comfortable with the one that I'm in now. I bet I can do way crazier things just in the backyard dry spot that I have. I yeah. bet I could go way further. It's just catching the light at the right time. So it's always, fun yeah. for me to just there's a hundred yards and then there's like miles of woodland and stuff like that that is basically man-made but it's still nature yeah um, that i can yeah. work with so i don't want to just keep jumping locations because then i'll get too comfortable at all the dope spots yeah yeah no nah, i know what you mean i like, say yeah. i was only comfortable with dope spots now i'm starting shooting in my backyard that's a huge downgrade you should have started in your backyard and then gone to the dope spot you know what i mean <laughs> or mix it in together because say the quarantine happened and now yeah. lots of people like yeah. yourself are like, oh, I love to go all these places. Now I can't. What, what am I going to do? I guess I'm shooting in my bathtub. But you did it. You know what I mean? You took yeah. the time to do it. Some people are just like throwing a figure in the tub and like taking mad shots and seeing if yeah. they get one, you know? So you took the time to do it. So then you went out of your comfort zone and you're just starting. And now you like, I mean, when you st when I first, when you first started following me and I followed you, I was like, what? Because everything was dark. It yeah, was so that, dark. I didn't know yeah. why. You know what I mean? I didn't know why, but I loved it. It was so dark and it was clean. Like everything was clean and crisp and dark. Yeah. Super dark. And yeah. everybody's always told me like, everything needs to be really bright. And I'm like, I like dark. Yeah. It's really dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's so gritty and beautiful. And that happens mostly in Star Wars. And then you did it to Power Rangers. And I was like, this guy, <laughs> this guy, this guy knows what's going on. It's just so that, I, I that, like doing stuff in like light, like it, everything gets more difficult. I don't know why it is, but like I find like shooting in through the day is just more difficult. But having like a night scene, everything's like accented a bit more. It's like easier to like you have, control, control. You have better control over dark yeah. when you have light. Yeah, exactly, man. Lighting, but, uh, lighting, lighting sucks. 
Yeah, it does. Lighting's the one thing you gotta master, and then if you have no control over it in nature, that's what makes it hard. And that's also why I like try to stay in like my uh, in like a hundred yards because I'll learn that lighting, and then I'll be able to apply it to other places as I go. So it'll be a quicker turnaround instead of being like I'm gonna set this figure down. Like I was doing some cool stuff. I had a figure in a really dope pose. Every picture I took looks super weird because of how the lens reflects the light, but in your camera it looks a certain way. So then when it's done. And then you go back and you look through because you don't want to like curse yourself and just try to get a perfect one the first time. Yeah. You're like, wow, yeah. the end of my shoot is where I got some stuff that I can use and they're only okay. So then I found like two and I posted one of them and I was, it was okay, but it was, I hadn't posted. <laughs> so I was yeah, like, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Now, people will at least like it. It's cool. I'll do something better with it, but it's, it's nice. It's just fine. It's plain. But that's where it comes back to Instagram again. It's, I like simplicity mm-hmm. because some of the tech yeah. stuff you kind of have to keep up with it. Yeah. Like if you're not going to do it every time, it totally shows. Well, it's like going back to your most recent shots, actually, especially with your, like, the Power Rangers, the, the, the figure arts version. I didn't the blow up. That was lazy. Those are so lazy, bro. Oh, but, my God. Let me tell you how lazy. <laughs> oh, Power Rangers. Oh, that you can always get at least 100 likes no matter what the post is if you post a hashtag power rangers mighty more from power rangers or anything like that those photos i had no idea i didn't i didn't know they would even i thought they'd be like under what they are now i don't understand um, Dude, but because they're, but they're just so clean that's just how good they're like it was, so simple. It was like it was a windy day <laughs> i was struggling it was hot as hell i feel like simplicity wins it all the time though like the the most simple shot because like I had a shot where I had like the white tiger sword sitting so I went out on location a while ago white tiger sword just sitting on a log and I got oh, like a, a flare from the sun uh-huh. and that beautiful was, I didn't beautiful that's all you need <laughs> that's what I'm saying like that's all you don't really like there's times where sure a dynamic pose will definitely win but if you're not comfortable with the dynamic pose what makes you so sure that your camera is going to be comfortable with yeah. that pose. Um, as we talked about in the first episode of Toys Around the Round Table, yeah. lots of people yeah. take 60 plus shots. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I, I have that many. I have that. I have more than that in pictures that I have, but I've never taken 60 shots yeah. on purpose. Maybe yeah. I accidentally held the thing down too long. And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, oh, oh, oh. And then I have like 200 photos. And I'm like, this is just my thumb. This is just my thumb. But I do I take, I'm one of them folks that do that. I do take like, for like one scene, especially in like the snow scene where you're sprinkling, like I'm taking about 200 photos and then have to import them to Lightroom and then check. So something's moving, sure, but like uh, yeah. if it's a still, you don't need uh, that. Like if it's, if it's, I don't uh, just just take your time. Like if like yeah. I get bit up all the time because these ants out here, man. Never <laughs> oh, seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. it there's literally there's little. I've talked about it before, but there's literally yeah. tribes of different kinds of ants. So that also makes my photography time super specific because they're on a schedule there's, yeah. there's tiny little things but they're on a there's a schedule there's a time where they're out there's a time when they're not out same thing with like mosquitoes and horse flies and all those other things that are super annoying and just get in the way and try to fly yeah. in your eye or something <laughs> um, so i have to work around that so there's certain times certain temperatures that i work off uh, most of the time i can shoot um in this weird spot in my backyard that just won't grow because it just won't. Yeah. Whoever lives here before me, just they just let their dog pee forever. And I've slowly <laughs> been growing the grass back, but I don't have any hope for that spot. Weeds I won't grow there. <laughs> Nothing's growing there. So I just like kind of mess with it. And uh, I use yeah. it for shots. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, crap. I don't have anything. So yeah. I use that for that. And most of the time, those are pretty solid. But um, my favorite thing to do probably with action figures of all time, especially with figure arts, it's very easy to get a super simple pose i have i have trouble with the lightning collection figures because they don't move the way i'm used to i've had the power ranger figure art since they came out so i was i've been handling them forever yeah um it's an easy collection collection that destroy my life i hate the knees because then you go from light you go from legacy collection which everything was kind of loose but it was smooth Mm-hmm. And they were kind yeah. of bigger, so it was like a, they moved a little bit better, but they were kind of stiff, but they were bulky, so like they took dope, like simple hero yeah. shots. Now the lightning collection, everybody's proportions are different, but they're the same, but they're different, and they don't all flow together. Like not all the reds are the same, yeah. Not all the greens are the same. 
not all the whites are the same. There's like for the White Ranger, he's a little bit tan, but for Lord Draken, he's white. But then for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, there's a kind of faded white. Yeah. So then, like, I'm looking yeah. at accessories matching the hands, and I'm like, I'm going crazy. So I think what happened was I was too focused. Like, I, just, I was like, I just want to do Lightning Collection. I think that's what I should do. Um, I even want to do Marvel Legends, and I like Marvel Legends to play with. Yeah. But I don't necessarily love yeah. taking photos of them because I don't have the attachment like I do to other things and other yeah. toys. Like Transformers, like like I showed you at the beginning of this video, like I got an upgrade kit for this guy because it's one of the favorite things that I've ever like that I've purchased myself. And then yeah. it comes today, yeah. just happily after FedEx screwed me. But <laughs> and then and those are just fun. They're fun. They don't they don't they don't get views, and that's fine. There's, I'm not about the views. They're fun. It made me happy. I know yeah. people who enjoy them. Um, I know some of my followers really like my Transformers stuff, and I haven't posted yeah. it in a while. I was waiting for this. I was waiting. I was waiting for this kit, guys. I was waiting for this kit so I could do what I wanted to do. Um, yeah. I try to take my time, but um, again, as uh, me and Sunset underscore Doom Anthony were talking about is yeah. eBay. So eBay has been a plague in my life again because of him probably. But um, <laughs> big you are. Did you see his like box of troopers that he got? Yeah, I, I, I messaged him. And I was like, I was like, your son doesn't want you to have him. He was like, yeah, he just keeps throwing them. And then like, I talked to him a little bit about it, and uh, you know, he was going to do some cool stuff with them. And I was like, it was super dope. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny. I was just like, because he was talking about it in the video, but I didn't, I didn't think you like got that many. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a full lot. Just full like lock. one, so, two, all. Yeah, that. yeah. All exactly the same. Look pristine, shiny. Like I was like, wow. And then um, I start, I just started looking up for figure arts because I'm comfortable with them and they're fun. Yeah. They come yeah. with really cool accessories. Um, and there's lots of different things that I can do with them with lightning collection effects. So the lightning collection is still is still there. I'm going to be doing videos. And I'll take pictures, yeah. but they won't be my main thing like I want it to be. It's going to be figure arts yeah. and transformers mostly um, because they're they're awesome. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Um, they're super fragile, so I'm very careful. So it takes me time. Whereas a lightning collection, I can beat them up. Like you can just bend them around yeah. and try to get clothes and stuff. But sometimes, again, I feel like those like have their camera shy. Like yeah. you can get some really dope yeah. shots, but like some of the ones that you took, you're like, that weird. How did that happen? Yeah. Like I don't understand. Like that angle made it look so bad. And then you yeah, do no, like a no, finger no, no. or something, and like that looks a little bit more sleek. There's just too many angles. I feel like. And don't get me wrong, I'm not downplaying them. They're great figures. But uh, yeah. for photography, yeah. for me personally. Um, there's a guy named D Amazing on Instagram and YouTube. Um, he posts he he posts really cool diorama shots, and he is really good at explaining figure arts and breaking running them down, um, showing you how they move. And then there's somebody named Anthony's Customs who is just he's funny, he's super honest, and he's on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook as well. But I'm not like plugging them. Those two, um, they're kind of this opposite. Like you have one person who's like really expressing themselves about like how cool this figure is, how dope his shots yeah. are going to be, because that's yeah. what they're for, you know, taking super dope toy photography shots. And he's showing you like his, his cute cat and like just cool things, how the figure moves, um, how to pose figures of like how to pose figure arts and how to pose lightning collection. Really cool kind of tutorial, step by step. You can even hold the figure in your hand and yeah. do what he's doing. And then Anthony's like, super he critiques it as anybody should like is this worth buying you know what i mean the aesthetics is the aesthetic good is the paint quality good is the articulation all there how are the accessories how is this overall product that you got regardless of the price was it worth it is it worth yeah. it to you you need it in your collection here's my honest opinion no yes uh it's all right some people will like it some people won't yeah, absolutely yeah. not you know what i mean like i i need that or else i'd be like i'd have everything my room i'd be a hoarder i'd be a hoarder yeah. of toys order <laughs> and then it, then it then it's hard because as you see on some of my instagram like i was trying to do too many things and it's like you don't have to post everything you like make sure you post the things that you like and you can work with like i just got this it's a common rider o's oh sweet um tamashi exclusive which i didn't know about it so i found the ebay listing and i was like wow this guy is really cool and he is and he was like 40 bucks and that's crazy because he was yeah, complete man. and like not open yeah. and it's that's those are the little deals that, like i got i spent yeah. 40 dollars and i sold i already sold something in my collection so i already had that money waiting because i try to fund the hobby with the hobby so you don't well it's funny like that yeah. was my next question i was just about to ask like do you buy then get your money's worth and then just sell on to then get the next best thing yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah. I, I always uh, i have 
I mean, I've been collecting toys since I was born. Um, yeah. I'm an only child, so yeah. toys in my imagination just clicked. And it was very easy for me to be very, like, I was just calm. I was just a mellow kid. I like to play yeah. with toys. My imagination yeah. ruled everything. Everybody had a different voice, sound effect, different storyline. Um, they might even not even be a Power Ranger. They might not even be, like, Wolverine. They might not even be that. They might be somebody else. It could be me. I could be them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you add in um, Lincoln Logs, because I had a ton of Lincoln Logs and Mega Blocks. So I always had a ton of those because I'm a little kid. <laughs> and then you just start making, um, like, like your, I guess I was making dioramas and sets for yourself. And I had yeah. this, like, uh, little, like, castle. You know, I've been playing with toys my whole life. Even when I said I took a break from playing with toys, I've always had my Megazords out. Always. Yeah. Except for, always. Oh, I've always had my Megazords or a Megazord out. I've always had them out. Uh, when I ha- when I was in college, I had eight of them. I brought my eight favorite ones that at that time that were sturdy and could hold up and look good as a display piece altogether. Yeah. I've always had toys. Yeah. They've been with me no matter what I've ever said. Like I've always had them. This is my always been there. I've always been there. It's my desk uh-huh. display so, piece. It's there all the time. It's like the I don't know if you can see it, but the paint. Uh, if, one. The paint application is just so crap. Like, like That's fine for you. it's so bad. Yeah. But I, I kind of they made so many of those. It's dope. They're still dope. Like that's the thing. It was like they they started at like fifteen bucks. Sometimes people have them higher. Sometimes people have them lower. But you can find them for cheap. Like people oh, know yeah, yeah. what the value of yeah. pops are because they go up and down. Like constantly. yeah, exactly, man. Um, cool. So like, let's go on to. So we're pretty much like at like my last question. It's kind of about round the round table actually. So um, I, I just kind of had to bring it up because a shameless plug. You know, you know, if you shameless plug, I plugged it at the <laughs> beginning. I've been plugging people left and right because there's, there's a lot of really great creators and there's a lot of really good things that are coming into the community and there's a lot of good projects that a lot of people need to know about yeah um, whether you're a, a big photographer and you have lots of following or you're small it really doesn't matter like i said like you could be the best in yeah. your in your in your realm but somebody took a picture of a pikachu vinyl figure or like a mini pikachu that was like yeah. a centimeter yeah. big in the grass in their front lawn and it blew your Super awesome, amazing, explosive stormtrooper ninja yeah. explosion fight that got like twenty thousand shares and stuff like that, like out of the water because it's just so pure. It's so yeah. like there's so much love and like yeah, there's exactly. so much love in it. Yeah. There's just, you feel you feel good when you look at it. You're like, oh, this person wasn't like super pissed off or like struggling or they had like a over ambitious idea and their wheels were just burning, burning, yeah. burning, burning. Um, like Sir Dork, he has an idea, he tries to execute it, and it it comes out, you know what I mean? He he works on it. I would love to take the time to Photoshop stuff, but I can't because every time I try, I end up just removing that and then doing something on my own because my brain doesn't work like that right now. It's developing, but I've always been like, if you put Illustrator and Photoshop in front of me, I'm not taking anything from a source. I'm doing it. I'm going to make my own design. I'm going to make my own creature. I'm going to make my own thing. Like, I completely sidetracked from my project. Like that was really bad in college. So I'd be like, you have to do this. And I'd be like, all right, I burned the thing that I had to do out in like a minute. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. Let's just get it done. And then I'd be like on the computer for like the remainder of the semester, just like burning out project after project of just like fire that I've been working yeah. on while I finish my actual project in like a day and like yeah. a couple hours. Then I go revisit it and I'm like, this is so bad. I'm not gonna. This is not true. So but I just uh, I'm, I'm slow progression is what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to take yeah. it slow. I don't want to overhype myself. I don't want to yeah. push myself too far. I want to be comfortable because I want to do this basically forever. I want my daughter to be yeah. able to get like my daughter already yeah. does it. I mean, she's already kind of into it. Um, oh, she yeah. takes her picture, her toys, sets them up, and pretends that she's taking pictures like with a little phone. And it's just fun, you know. It's yeah. a fun thing that I can do with my daughter. Bring her in, and when she's older, she can mess with the more fragile stuff. Yeah. Then we can both be taking pictures together, and it would just be like it's a fun bonding thing. Um, yeah, exactly, man. I, we're quite similar in that uh-huh. aspect because, uh, like, I got my son. Uh, have you seen them like kiddies? Zoom cameras like the so like I got my son one of them for Christmas and he's been doing the same sort of thing so he helped me with that um, Lapras in the bathtub shoot sort of thing and he was taking taking photos with his camera and then like I imported them into my computer and then he started editing and stuff and I was like oh my god that's my boy that's my boy. so that's then when awesome. my daughter's old enough she'll get it as well so it's it's yeah, I think it's just funny you know they don't have to do it their whole life but it's something like at least you're sharing something with them and then in, in return you can also follow in their interest so it's kind of it it'll help your relationship like with your whole family you know what I mean like I share I share my pictures with my girlfriend sometimes when I don't know I'm like babe which one are any of these good yeah. She's like, um, no. And I'm like, all right, I'm not posting anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Or she's like, oh, I really like that one. And I'll be like, okay. And then I'll show my friends, and my friends will also really like that one. So she has really good taste, too. Yeah. So it really yeah. helps me out, like, whenever I'm in a tough spot and I'm not really sure yeah, if yeah. any of these came out good. And she's just like, yeah, babe, those look fine. Or she's just like, only one of them. I just like that one. It looks good. Da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, I'll just do that one. My girlfriend's like, Man, do you know what I hate about you? I'm like, what? Your toys. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no I'm just taking no, over. They come, in, they, come in, they come in to play. But um, but that but that also boosted me. Like when we were talking about how I, I fund my hobby with my with mm. my collection. Yeah. When we first started dating, I didn't really collect. I just had my stuff out. Like I just put my Megazords out. Like strictly, yeah. it was just my Megazords. Like, nothing else was out. Everything else was still like with my parents before they moved. Um, so I just have my Megazords because to me, like, still, it's like the only thing I really need. Um, I could like, build a house out of them and be fine. But <laughs> yeah. um, I found out that I had so much trash. There's so much. There's so many pieces of things, like pieces that people were looking for, just things that, like, and things that I didn't even want and things that I just probably bought with my grandfather because like, I needed something at Toys R Us. And yeah. he was like, all right, yeah. just get both. There's something like that. You know what I mean? Just something dumb. Like, the, yeah. only, the only way I would go to the movies as a kid is if they bought me something. Like a toy, <laughs> not expensive. I wasn't like looking for a car, or new shoes. Um, the first time I went to see Star Wars or something, my dad bought me a stormtrooper. Super simple, like nothing crazy, just one of those three point seven five inch stormtroopers. Yeah. And I just looked at the whole movie. Up, doesn't it? Like that's yeah, it. And then, just, and then it's in the sh- it's in the movie, so now I can be like, oh, this is awesome. So then you find a connection with yeah. your dad, your toy, and then it's an experience. So that's basically every figure, except when I started buying toys. Now I got back into the buying toys around 2016. I started Power Rangers 365 with my friend Joshua Wentworth, who also has his own. Yeah. Um, well, so, that was going to be my next question, actually. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, that. Power Rangers <laughs> 365. Like, I was stunned when you suggested that group to me, and then I was even more stunned that you created it. So I, I didn't know whether you created this or just helped start it or whatever, but like, are you one of the creators for that? Oh, so for 365, yeah. Like, there's only two of us. So it started off um, months, I, months, 2016, months. like early, like late 2015, early 2016. Mm-hmm. The legacy stuff for Power Rangers started getting like super awesome. Um, specifically the Power Rangers movie legacy figures with the movie suits, the whatever yeah. five-inch figures. I was so peaked, like that peaked. I didn't care about the Morphers, the Zords, or anything. I was like, I love those. I was so young when that movie came out that it resonated with me yeah. so, so much. My dad used to, like, he used to walk to work whenever I was younger, and he'd, he'd walk home from work. He'd stop at McDonald's on the way home and, like, buy me the, the Ranger toy yeah. from the movie. And then he got a car, and then he hid them in his car, and then one day he gave me, like, all of them. I was just getting doubles, you know. What I, mean? I was just like, you don't want your like your young kid to eat McDonald's all the time. So that, that that peaked it, and then I went to see the movie like first time it came out, you know what I mean? And that just hit. And yeah. then from then on, I was Power Rangers. Like that was that was like I like Power Rangers now, you know what I mean? I still do. Like I'll talk trash on some of the seasons, but I'm an adult, so I'll yeah. analyze it. I still like it. I I'll still watch it, and I'm still going to enjoy it. But I'm going to yeah. tell you what yeah. I didn't like about it. So there's seasons that I don't particularly like, but I'm still watching them, and I'm still. The movie them is now. just the best. Uh, like I think I like the movie more than I like the series. And it's like way I better. It's, it's, season three would have been. I love the Ninjetti suits. I love yeah. that they carried those over. Beautiful. I love the full mask. So much fun. And you know what? I also like the metallic armor. I thought that was very creative for a budgeting move. They didn't have a huge yeah. budget, and you can't really do anything else with the ranger suit since you established that they're not going to change in the season yeah, yeah. besides their yeah. ninja wear. And I thought that it was, besides like how they executed it, I thought it was very, very cool. Because then it also showed that they brought metallic over from the movie figures. Yeah. So they implemented yeah. how well those uh, chrome movie figures so. Yeah, yeah into the show and there's two different versions there's the flip head chrome versions which are like mega rare and then there's the regular ones uh which are the rare you know, got the color coin with it as well the because yeah, uh, yeah. i've got like the pink ranger it's still boxed and it's got the coin button it's, it's just not getting taken out of its box and it's like i'm no i mean it's no different than any other thing yeah. but, yeah. Um, but um 365 so it used to be power rangers it used to be 24 7 powering um it was joshua wentworth's group um, he had gotten to Power Rangers like not too like not too soon after I did, or like I didn't join too soon after he did. Whatever, yeah. Um, and I was like, this is really fun. Like I liked it. it. It was just a page, you know what I mean? Like he was just posting. It was just him posting. He was the only one who was doing anything on it, and I I thought it was really cool. Um, I also bonded with him because I was looking for the black movie figure because I could find everybody else but black, 
and I wasn't going to pay eBay prices for black at that time yeah. because there's, there's no reason because he was available. But I also didn't want to pay third party store because they're also asking like thirty forty dollars for a figure that was out and yeah, was a yeah. true exclusive. So I was like, what do you? And then uh, he was like, oh, I I found one and I bought it from him. And then I bought Dino Charge stuff from him. But like before, after that first purchase, we just talked. We yeah. talked to talk. We called each other. Yeah. We became like besties like over a week period. Uh, we, we literally talked every single day. And I, I joined 24 of 7 Power Rangers while all that was going on. And I started posting my own things. We started trying to get the page going. Problem with the page is there's no interaction besides the comments of the people who follow. So we were yeah, like, yeah. and we couldn't be active yeah. 24 hours a day. We both live in the same time zone. That There's no possible way. Uh, <laughs> so we were like, all right, Power Rangers 365. 365 days a year instead of 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week, forever. Power Rangers 365. 365 days a week. Power Rangers, small idea, got big really fast. We did some, we did some really ambitious things at the beginning that bit us in the butt. Um, we did some, tried to do some charity stuff. Yeah. Um, and it didn't, it just didn't go because we didn't, we didn't know the Ranger fandom like we do now. We were, we were, I was new into buying because I was used to eBay, but then there's all these yeah. other Facebook groups that are specifically for uh, buying, selling, and trading, and all of those things. And there's, there's great groups, and I'm not going to mention them because they're already they're yeah, fine. Yeah. They don't need any plug in them. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but just, uh, it was just me and Josh, and then we added a couple other people. Uh, one of them is Alan Hauser. He's been with us throughout the whole thing. Um, and then we've had a couple other people who have greatly helped us out here and there, but they just they have other things more important to do. We've yeah. had terrible people in and out. The one thing I always keep is. If you're not having fun in the admin group chat, if you're not having fun in the group, you don't have to be an admin. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I yeah. brought you on because yeah. at that time, you were very active in the community, and I thought you could bring something extra when I'm not around. Yeah, um, yeah. So me and Josh, Josh built the group pretty pretty much by himself with his, his own YouTube videos. He was doing crazy giveaways, you know what I mean? Obviously, I was doing my own live videos and stuff and posting yeah. as well yeah. uh, equally. But I just felt like he was very, he's very charismatic. Like he's very easy to get along with. He's, uh, it, we just worked really well together. Like I, he could like tell me, he could criticize me. I could criticize him. And like, we could talk crap to each other and it would just fuel us to be like, okay, let's do this. Let's try this. Yeah. Let's try this. And we tried yeah. so many things and then we got stuck. With 365, they got stuck. There was a real good period. I'd say six months where nothing was changing. Uh, we weren't getting any more, we weren't getting any better content. We weren't getting any, we were just getting bots trying to join the, um, there was a lot of bad activity going on to people who like snuck through uh, the question questionnaires and stuff. Um, we went through different trials and tribulations. And then we took somebody from a completely irrelevant group, brought him in. His name was Trevor and uh, his energy boosted it. He was like, if this group isn't active anymore, we're just going to boot everyone. Everyone's going to get kicked out. Like we made him admin and we were just like, what do you think we should do? And he was like, besides just liking, you should comment on stuff. You should be more involved. Okay, or you used to do videos, be more involved. I'm like, I can be more involved without doing videos. I can just start reaching out to people. Yeah. Commenting on their posts. Uh, start being like, start mentioning people. And we kind of, I kind of balanced it. So right now where we're at, we just, we did a giveaway and uh, it, it, it was good. It was better than any of the giveaways that we did before. Yeah. Josh led a group about, I want to say like six months ago um because the power ranger community can be he was very involved in the community and it kind of bit him in the ass um it bit us both in the ass to be honest with you um you it doesn't really matter who you know in the community like you can have a terrible terrible experience and just it can completely ruin how you feel about it and i and he definitely was somebody who was uh, very vocal about uh, how the how cosplaying and being in the fandom is can be very toxic and yeah. you you meet a lot of sick you meet a lot of sick individuals who don't really know that they're sick um but you're you you kind of get warped into this false reality yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah. and then when you come back to normal life it's like a huge downer so like when you're not surrounded by people and doing your poses and getting pictures taken with you you're bombarded with questions and yeah. um, people trying to get you to sponsor them, even if you're not trying to do that. And it just becomes overwhelming. Power Rangers, somebody's inspired, somebody we was inspired by Super Sentai and Kamen Rider and Ultraman, Metal Hero, all of Tokusatsu. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take a shot. And they've taken shots. Stan Lee has taken shots, but he found the right team uh, to lead it off. Yeah. And that's when Power Rangers yeah. starts. Now the MMP are like, Season one to season two, uh, fans can be overbearing. Yeah, yeah. And then there's, yeah. but there's individuals. But I want to say MMPR because it's the it's the thing I see the most, the most of. It's it's yeah. constant. It's almost yeah. every single day. I'll have one of my admins will have to turn off the comments on a post, uh, remove somebody, mute somebody for twenty four hours because they're they've lost their mind. They, their feelings like exploded out of their chest, especially now. 
yeah. tension is so yeah. high and it, it's, it goes up and then it disappears and then it comes full force and a tidal wave and then it goes away. And is this due the to problem. people just like not agreeing with, cause like yeah, a lot of it's, it's, it's a kid's show. Like, like I, I've, I've, we've, I've posted videos. There's videos of Josh even posting videos. Like this group is just for fun. If you like Power right. Rangers, if you like Toku, if you like anything that I don't even care if it's, uh, what's that show? Uh, not, uh, 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 I don't know the, the, the it's on Netflix. God damn, it's right on my tip of my tongue. Like, just say Voltron. If somebody posts with Voltron, I'm not gonna pull their post down. Why would I pull your post down? It was before Power Rangers and Sentai. Like, it's one of the influ- influences of most of the mech at the beginning yeah. of this era with their Megazords. Um, if you're posting things like that, I'm not gonna take it down. People are like, oh, people I feel like are afraid whenever they see Power Rangers 365. You know, I've, I'm like, no, you can post VR Troopers. B fighter Kabuto Metal there. There's, there's, there's it's huge. There's a huge bubble. Yeah, yeah. The Kiba Rangers, like there's a huge bubble of things that are just like Power Rangers. Um, Ninja Turtles. We get Ninja Turtle posts sometimes. Basically the same thing. It's teamwork, yeah. team bonding, learning skills. They do martial arts and they have life problems. Like it's they're all it's all basically the same. You just got to be able to if you put it in the right perspective. Like oh man, like uh, especially some of the memes and stuff. But the again the the worst thing is the fights between members saying you're wrong. I disagree yeah. with that. Um, Tommy's the best. Like, yeah, Tommy's cool, but there's so many. Like, I'm not hating on Tommy, and I'm not hating on JDS, and I'm not hating on any of them. Why can't you guys just please take a second and look at the bigger picture? What yeah. did they influence? We'd have nothing after Turbo if it wasn't for space. We wouldn't probably have Turbo if they were able to, because people were like, oh, they ran out of stock footage for O-Ranger. My ass. Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious no they didn't there's plenty of more that you could have done so much more you already you gave us everything that we wanted it went from mighty Morphin power ranger declining to zeo and the theme song and the commercials and the toys bang and the new packaging like i remember like it was yesterday like that zeo anthem like just rings bells in my yeah, head like new uh, stuff new stuff what what new new every I'm here and I'm like, theme probably every single day and nobody's every day. It's just it's just the greatest theme song ever to come out of Power Rangers. And I mean, I love the season one, but Zeo was just on another level. I, I mean, my opinion, but... Like it's, harmonic. It's, like, it's like angels are coming down, literally, and then they start it, it up, and then it's the same guy from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers just doing a new version of the yeah. song. They're stronger um, than... The Rangers, exactly oh. the yeah. But then they were like, oh, so the Zeo powers get stronger over time. And then basically everybody who was older than me and like who, who are adults now are like, Awesome! This is going to be the best thing. They're going to just constantly get stronger, constantly get stronger, and the the, the characters are just going to keep developing. And we're going to have newer Zords, and uh, yeah. Bandai of America is going to do mm-hmm. special things, and we're going to get crossovers from uh, the the comeback, the old OG Rangers that left to go to the peace treaty and stuff like that. Like, I bet they had so much hope. But as a kid, I was just like, Zia, Zia, and then Turbo <laughs> came out, and I was like, Turbo's pretty dope. This is pretty cool. But everybody was like, No, no, why, what, Turbo? And then the constant, the constant argument, no matter how long it's been, is like Zeo's powers constantly grow over time. Okay, well it's still there. Nobody told us that it didn't. They went anywhere. It's just it's there. You know what I mean? So relax. There, it, 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 in Soul of the Dragon for the Boom comic version, mm-hmm. they did touch upon that, but they also kind of downplayed it again. Like they made it seem like he was running out of power, and I was like. How is he running out of power? He hasn't used the Zeo suit in like, I don't know, forever. It should be like the most powerful thing in the whole entire universe. What what's going on? Do you ever so, hear like, like yeah. any like comments or posts about how Tommy can still morph back into MMPR? Because like I would love to see someone trying yeah, like I, trying. every month. Every month. I won't say every day, every month. Every month like, there's a fight. Every month there's a fight. Like, even think of that. Like every I just, month. <laughs> every month tommy is the best tommy is this what if tommy was this what if tommy was the red ranger and jason was the green ranger blow people away what if jason got the white ranger suit instead of tommy what if tommy came back in zeo as the gold ranger and jason stayed the red ranger throughout what if what if what? who cares what happened happened now remember power rangers isn't power okay one thing I noticed whenever we first started Power Rangers 365 is nobody knew that Super Sentai was before Power Rangers. Everybody thought that Super Sentai was a knockoff of Power Rangers. But it's not. They're, they're not the same, but they are. Um, Power Rangers, of course, is directed to a more Western audience. It's not for yeah. over there. It's for us to comprehend. And then yeah. 
and that's it. That's really it. It's for like the UK, Australia, you know what I mean? English speaking. It's yeah. not like, it's just yeah. what's common. You know what I mean? It's not, they don't strictly stay in like America stuff. They don't strictly do this. They just kind of do like a made up city and everything's basically how it is now or whatever the time is. But even back, even yeah. in the future, it seems like yeah. nothing's changed. <laughs> There's just aliens doing the same thing that humans were doing. <laughs> but really super people, people are like, how did how did MMPR destroy their monsters? They really should start getting onto yeah. the whole Google thing. One thing, I actually had a question because I saw the... Remember when the Thunder Megazord and the Tiger Zord got destroyed? Did you... Like, I watched that, you know, when, like, uh, Rito Revolto uh, destroyed it. Who, who it didn't make any sense. Mess? Who cleaned up that it mess? Didn't make any, it, it didn't make any sense. Okay, so, unfortunately for me, after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1... Um, bootleg like in new york city back in the 90s you could basically get anything bootleg and translated yeah like you can now on the internet but like a physical copy like you know it's it's not illegal but for five bucks and yeah. feeding a homeless man for it was a super sentai um die ranger amazing i love that really and english really stuff, my dad got it i mean like it obviously didn't work like after like a year or so because it was just one of those old ass cds yeah. Um, but I watched it. It was the whole season. I don't know how they got it. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I remember watching it because every time I watch it, I'm like, I remember this part. I remember this part. I remember this part. I watched the whole season. You know what doesn't happen? Serpentera and the Thunder Zords. Nothing happened. Did you know that? I had no in, idea. In, in, my, in, in my Power Rangers season two, nothing happens. They bring them back for Forever Red. Nothing happens still. Yeah. Serpentera is just out there. Okay. They never concluded Serpentera, <laughs> barely at all. They, yeah. uh, in Die Ranger, yeah. there's, a, there's a decent explanation of how he comes about and like how powerful he is and how massive yeah. he is compared to Tor, yeah. their ultimate shuttle sword. Because he like, stomps on him, doesn't he? Steps on him. He's like, this, he's, yeah. But then like nothing really, I don't know, the conclusion of that, like I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but the conclusion of that was kind of weird. It's a great season uh, of Sentai, but it was kind of... It made me not like how they switched to season three. It was weird. Like Rito Revolto, what? He's in Copy Ranger. This doesn't really make sense. He wasn't. He wasn't in Die Ranger. You know what I mean? Like the villain. Yeah. I don't understand the words. They weren't either. But I was like, who is this guy? You know what I mean? He's Rita's brother. And I mean, obviously Rita isn't in Die Ranger either. But I could like, I could carry it over. But as a little kid, I'm just sitting there. I'm what like, is what the hell? And then yeah, and I, I understand that Master Vile and Rito are related because of his son. But then they added Rita, and I was like, okay, all right, I guess I'll just go with it. And then yeah. from that, it just kind of got confusing. Like from. For me a little bit and i was like i don't really get where you're going with this they, they also didn't use enough of the die ranger footage they could have extended season two and not even had to have done what they did in season three yeah. um, if they just carefully yeah. looked at it because season two was dope yeah it was you know what the, i mean, was my I mean favorite zord yeah that's why I, I got the legacy one i didn't i mean it's cheaper now than it was yeah. when i bought it but i bought it for 250 dollars so i needed it it was a need it was a need. Yeah, to have I, it. I missed it. Like I, I've, I always wanted to get uh, Legacy Saba as well, but I just could never afford oh, yeah, it. Uh, I don't, I don't even afford it. It was just like I, I'm not connected to that that as yeah. much as I am to like, yeah. other things. No, but, I mean, I'll pick I, it up eventually. Yeah. But the Dragon Dagger was like a must have. The Blade Blaster and the Morphers were more important to me than like the giant yeah. Saba. And I also missed yeah. out on the Gold Ranger Power Staff. But you can still like this thing. You can still get it for under. The, for, I don't know about like you guys, but like the Gold Power Staff is so cheap in the UK. Like it's super it's cheap. cheap. It, it, it's like sixty bucks. Not it up? Like I was like, right, I'm gonna. So I bought it on sale for like twenty five pounds, like which was super cheap because it was retail yeah. at like one hundred and fifty pound or something. I was like, yes, I'm gonna keep it in this box. I'm never gonna touch it because I'm gonna get like six hundred pounds in the next two years or something. And now it's everywhere for like fifty. Like, I mean, I can make a £25 profit right now, but what's the point? So it's it's hanging on my wall upstairs now, but at the same point, who cares? Yeah, that's funny. That The legacy stuff was weird and how it was worth. I got, I have two White Tiger Zords because one, they were both $30. How is that? Like, I bought um, the White Tiger Zord. $30. I bought, like, I got it for like £40, which I mean, would be about, I think it's like 50 something dollars for you guys. Yeah. But when it came out, that's, it was, it was like, it was, I think it was closer to like 60 or 75. It wasn't 100. Mine's it was super sun damaged. Mine's is extremely sun damaged. Yeah, because it's white. When you always use the, what, the plastic that's like, I'm going to absorb sunlight and turn tan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right okay so to round off this 
going back to the round the round table part, um, do you think the toy community needs something like this? Has it been like yeah, we, don't talk. Talk. we don't talk. We don't talk. We don't communicate. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. there there seems to be a power imbalance too. Uh, some people feel powerful above uh, others. Yeah. Uh, luckily, yeah. luckily the first cast, um, we were all very very like humble human beings, regardless yeah. of what status yeah. we had on social media or any. Anything like that, regardless. I was stunned like that. Really it was crazy. such a good. It was such a good episode. Even having to do the retake because I was super nervous yeah. about the retake just because I've had to drag you guys all back in. But the second episode, well, episode one point two, as I call it, like it was just so natural. Everyone had already, like, we'd built up that sort of bond. So it was, it was, it wasn't worrying at all. It was, I wasn't nervous speaking to anyone. And then we had Adam jump in, and he was funny from the. From the point oh that my god. Oh my god, he is character. What, what <laughs> wow. Just wow. Like what a you know, like uh I mean I only I only know people besides like you and stuff, like yeah. side, you know what I mean? Because uh, and I know I talk to people from other countries, but I don't hear other yeah. people. I'm not face to face with other people. Um so give him give him give me toys kid. I talk to him yeah. like all almost yeah. every day now, you know what I mean? I'm uh, he, he's yeah. fun to talk to, he's very uh He's very uplifting and supportive, and it's very yeah. nice. Uh, the yeah. creative ship, all of them, literally every single one of them. Like whenever I talk to them, it's very, very nice. Yeah, it's super nice. And I even have, I even have friends who have like crazy followers, and they just when you ask them a question, they're not like talking down to you. They're like, oh, let me see your stuff. Oh, okay, what well, you could do, like at this point, and do yeah. this, this, and this, and you can do this, or you could try this. Oh, you don't have to, because I really like the direction that you're going. Like you're like, whoa, like thanks, like I yeah. really like my stuff. You know, because yeah. I mean? like I'm, I'm always like down myself just a little bit because I don't want to yeah. overhype myself. You want, exactly. you want like I'm twenty, I'm twenty eight too. You know what I mean? I'm not a teenager. I don't have this crazy ego like I used to. I'm not yeah. trying to be something that I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be outspoken or drill my opinions or be like woke or anything yeah. like that. I'm just I, yeah. I like toys. Other people like toys. We found a way to make toys fun. Yeah. Um, some of them you can and you can fund your hobby. Like I'm gonna go back to funding the hobby because I keep talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I do is it's very simple and I don't know why I should say it like this is you so January December 31st it's, it's my birthday and on my birthday um I, I I get a Megazord basically every year whether it's the Power Ranger one or the Super Sentai one and the prices vary so don't think I'm spoiled because the OG Megazord when it came out was like 30 for 30 50 bucks which is nothing yeah when that came out because hey if you get a bo- new inbox when it's 100 to Seven hundred dollars, yeah. depending on if it's sent high or not. So shut up, and it's very, it's super simple. You choose, you find the things that draw you the most. So I really like Common Rider. I didn't get into it until later, around two thousand and ten, mm-hmm. when Go Kaiju came out. But that was it. It made a heavy impact. And then, of course, being me, I binge watched like from the beginning when the first Sentai came out, like Math Rider One to. Yeah. All the way to what yeah. what's now. I'm trying to keep up. You know, I'm not seeing every episode, but I'm trying to get like I check out the wiki, I check out the rundowns, um, and I, I do it myself. I don't watch other people do their yeah. reviews of the show because I'd rather just watch it myself. That's that's just one thing I don't do. Yeah. Um, it's just kind yeah. of boring to me. I'd rather just see what happens and like hear a breakdown. So with that, so I found it. I found. I was like, okay, I'm gonna collect a bunch of stuff. So this is just for me. It's not for everybody. Um, I had some money at the time because I had a good job. Um, I have a good job now, but I didn't for a, like a weird period. But I do, yeah. so everything's yeah. fine now. But before, I had a really good job. I was making pretty good money, so I was able to buy anything I wanted. Yeah, literally anything. If I wanted to spend four thousand dollars on uh one of the Lucky Draw chromed out Mega Swords, I could, but I didn't want to. Yeah. Um, had nothing yeah. to do with my daughter or my girlfriend or anything. I was just just me as yeah. a person. I was like, I'd rather I want to fill out my collection a little bit more and get some things that I've completely missed. You know, yeah, there's yeah. a good portion yeah. of there's a good portion of time where I just miss stuff. And there's and I rewatched some of the shows, you know, and I was going through and then uh, I bought a lot yeah. of stuff. I got Mystic Knights, VR Troopers, Beetleborgs, Transformers, Star Wars, Marvel, Common Rider, 90 stuff, Street Sharks, like yeah. anything like anything that I map biker mice yeah. from Mars. Like just anything. Yeah, magic school bus just rank like literally anything that I had a toy for that. That's what I went Burger King toys, McDonald's toys, KFC toys, like literally down to like fast food toys. You know what I mean? From yeah. real pr- products to fast food to dollar store to cake toppers, that was terrible to do. Yeah, because what was I thinking? You know what I mean? I think it was because I was I was gone from it for so long that I thought I was 
missing out on something. Yeah. And then I, I ended up with so much stuff, dude. Um, I, I had everything that I had when I was a kid, you know what I mean? Stuff I didn't have when I was a kid. And then I just looked at it and I'm like, why? <sighs> yeah. Because yeah. you, like, you see, they, 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 See in my last video where when I uh, when it was like oh, here was my toy collection and then it came up with like all the like my SH figure arts and all my Megazords and stuff like that. That's a collection I no longer have because like when I, in my old flat it was really small and I was like oh well I need money so like what can I do? Looked over at like my Power Ranger collection and I was like oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I didn't want to but I was in that bad place at the time. And then I had to just get rid of it, and it honestly destroyed me. But I did it. I got rid of it, and then it put me into a good position. But I just had to do it. I, had, I just had too much stuff. There was there was no need. Um, yeah. And then my yeah. parents moved down to Florida, and then they brought all my toys. And then I had bins and bins and bins <laughs> to go through. And I was going through, and I was I started to get anxiety, or mm. I started to have panic attacks, get flustered, overwhelmed with yeah. how much I've grown up. Uh, it wasn't even the toys. It was just over. Uh, I was like, "Wow, this is years and years and years of stuff." And then you kind of like look at it and you're like, "I bet this would make somebody else happy." And then I sold so much stuff, and then I was good. like, "Again, yeah, like you, when you sell power to your toys, like you're you're normally good because they, they normally just go." Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. They, I posted it, and like the stuff just was going. The stuff was going, 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 like just going off the walls. Um, I was just getting so much stuff uh taken taken care of you know i was helping other people out and at the time i didn't really i wasn't really worried about shipping or anything like i was just i wanted it out yeah and that's yeah, kind of how i am yeah. whenever i think i'm like i want you out you know what i mean you deserve somewhere better to go um i don't want to give you a thrift store i don't want to just like throw you out there because you're not going to get the home that you want i want somebody who wants it to buy it yeah so then yeah. i started, so then i just started selling toys and then we were okay you know what i mean i had lost my job so that was helping um, my girlfriend was working we had a daughter you know what i mean so it became yeah, less yeah. and less and less of a priority. But Power Rangers 365 and the bond that I had with all my admins, I mean, I could name them all, but I have to like think about it because there's too many <laughs> right now. So but thank you all of you um, for doing everything that you do. You guys all know who you are, and I really appreciate it. But if it wasn't for me and Josh having our own group and me being able to communicate with other people who are in other groups, yeah. other communities to collect other things, um, I always ask people, um, and I'll ask you before we close, like, why, like, why, like, what are your top five lines or figures, whatever, it doesn't have to be like your top five of all time, just top five off the top of your head, things that just pop to your head. It doesn't matter if it's something you have, something you want, it's just yeah. something that pops into your head that is in your head all the time. And for me, whenever I ask other people, it's like, oh, Mafex, oh, Mezco, Marvel Legends. I really like Star Wars. And then they'll either break it down or they'll just be like, I just like Star Wars. Like, I, yeah. I like Star Wars. There's, there's things that I like in here, things that I like in there. So then it, you start to learn more and more and more about that community too. So then you enter it. But then you're, you ask yourself, what top five things do I love about yeah. toys? And if you have none, yeah. you can't name five. Um, you probably aren't collecting or doing what you... Um, your heart wants you to do or like you you the vibe yeah. that you're actually going for you're missing something um you're taking a you're tripping over your step and you got a backtrack somewhere then there's something you need to dig out uh to bring it out and it happens to us all the time we're always backtracking to dig to go further we all we have to take a step back to go forward or else if you just yeah. keep rushing forward you're gonna crash so no, exactly. so for me it's like what are your top um, five and i just and i i'll i keep running down i'm like common writer power rangers transformers marvel legends and then SA for you art. So it's the broad thing. So you have those four, and those are just four things. So I have a couple, I don't have as many Star Wars figures as I do, but I have Transformers, I have Kamen Rider, I have Power Rangers, and I have a couple of Marvel Legends, and I cover all four. Do I have a lot of things out of that? No, not really. Um, yeah. I was able to tone it down. I have a few things, but they're not taking up space. They're not a hassle. I still want them. You know, they're not complete. They're not like displayable. They're older. Yeah. Um, but slowly the collection is dwindling and dwindling. And as all that happens, as you find your top five, you will realize that you can save money and make money off the yeah. things that are just in your in your six and below. Um, and right. it doesn't necessarily mean you have to get rid of them, but you can look at a portion. Like I sold a bunch. I sold everybody from my Black Series figures and like all my Star Wars stuff, except for like five things. I had my Black Series Captain Rex, 
Yeah. Awesome. It's just an awesome figure. You know, I, I connect to the character. I love him in Clone Wars. Like, he's, he's dope. And I have a Praetorian guard because it was one of the, it was the first Star Wars figures I ever got. And he's fun. And I like him. And he fits in different things. But that's it. Yeah, yeah. And everything else is like the other five things are old things that I got when I was a kid that were the animals, like the Ewok animal, the yeah. trooper sand animals. Like they're just the animals that, that can ride it. That is it. You know what I mean? And some people are like, why did you do that? You got so into them. And I'm like, I only like one thing about the Star Wars figures, and that is the troopers. And I'm not army building. I'm <laughs> yeah. not. I'm not doing that. So choose your favorite one. I like the Praetorian Guards. And I like Captain Rex. Got them both. I'm done. And that's Taking yeah. I don't have to worry about it. If they release another Captain Rex, maybe I'll sell this one. Doubt it. He's awesome. Um, Sweet. But there's Sweet. there's the option. So then you so I made money there. Now with that money, which was actually it was kind of it was I was surprised because I like, I still always start high just because it has nothing to do with anybody. I'm not scalping anybody, but I start <laughs> high. Um, reason is because shipping is not a joke. Shipping, handling fees. Um, I also do donations to Wildcat Sanctuary because there's no reason I need 100% of profit to then yeah. pay PayPal um, and eBay, like more more of it. So I'd rather donate and earn a credit to pay towards yeah. my eBay bill. It's just, it's just, it makes me feel good. I love Wildcats and big cat animals. So why not donate 10 to 15, 25% depending on the price um, to it. But now with that money and the stuff I sell on the side for like replica and props and stuff that I don't really talk to anybody about. Cause I kind of just do, it's just on eBay. Like if you're interested yeah, in something, yeah. I might have it somewhere in my storage unit, but I was able to buy figure arts and lightning collection without touching any of my funds, like any of the stuff that I make from work, just from flipping toys. Um, that's awesome. Then, I'm that's gonna just, it. That's just how it goes. Yeah, for sure. But that's just how it goes. Like that's how, uh, that's how I flip. And it's just, you find the hobby. If you can't do it that month, you just don't. You can wait. You can find something cheaper. It will drop in price. You'll find yeah, it for yeah. a good deal. It might be yeah. loose, but you can find it. You can find it if you have patience is basically uh, what yeah. everything is. But, yeah. Cool, man. Thank you like so that. much. It's awesome. Like, it's uh, – I've got – I think I have one more thing just to add to it, which – I'm going to read it from here because I think you'll enjoy this one. So one thing I was thinking about was, because I know we spoke about the whole topic thing for future around the round table, which makes so much more sense then. But it would make, it'll make your life easier. Yeah, man, exactly. <laughs> so um, I was thinking of having like certain special episodes like, round the round table Power Rangers edition so that like, can we get like the top, like, I think 10 photographers in one episodes too much we we only had what was it eight including myself anyway mm -hmm. that oh, it's which different so, so, yeah. so we could so technically so i think i get where you're going like what should we do to elaborate on mm -hmm. around the round table and make it uh, more diverse and get a, a larger audience i think exactly what you said so the first episode 1.2 was eight of us randomly getting together for like the first time yeah um and talking yeah. about toy photography specifically um, what we do, what we like, and getting to know each other. So it was more, yeah. um, it was more yeah. a podcast of, hey, here are eight or nine individuals who do toy photography on multiple medias and have multiple backgrounds. Some are actual toy photographers or photographers themselves yeah. or different yeah. artists or some like myself are just, I just do it and it just happens to be that I'm, I'm getting pretty good at it and um, I'm taking my time and it's fun and I like yeah. it and I want to get more into it. So we had that. So then, like you said, yeah, we could do special episodes. There's mad Star Wars photographers, Marvel Legends, yeah. Pop, Figma, Figure Arts. There's, very, there's people who do very specific things, and it's, it's very easy to come by them. Um, they're very, most of them are very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah and I think it would be cool, cool to be like uh, for, for four episodes, you, or not after two, but like for three, four, or five, and maybe six, you do topics. And then for like six, you bring back in another eight people, whether it be the same yeah. people, different people, a mixture yeah. of both, and do the same thing again. So you have uh, one sort of podcast, so you get to in be introduced and know about people, and then one sort of narrowed down, like very specific. So you have specific people only talking about just that, yeah. and just how to do like, just that. And then it'll make everybody able to talk to each other, um, share their opinions better, instead of us being like, yeah. Lego, figure arts, Star Wars, Power Rangers, Marvel, all of it. Because if we were doing it all at once anyway, that uh, timeline gets more and more. Because like the, the thing is, like 
the first episode was like two hours long with no edits in which i mean like i, I looked at the analytics of it and like most the majority have actually watched it the whole way through which i'm stunned at because it's fun it, it, it's fun and since we switched the platform it's it switches between me like everybody yeah. so everybody's face it, is there um so we all had spotlight whether my connection was good or not <laughs> we were there and you could still you could hear us all really well too and you did a really good job editing it um i was worried because we like me and you were talking long and it will yeah. be a bitch to edit but um <laughs> I was worried that it would be hard to choose what to edit out because it was such a broad uh, variation of people. And like you said, yeah, for sure. There can definitely be, like you can do a, a mixture of things between your your stuff and toy photographers around the round table. Cause you don't have to do toy photographers around the round table every time. It could be twice a month. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? yeah and, exactly. and your own videos. And then you can do two longer videos where the topics and then like a video like mine, which if we ever interview again, it will like more condense it, but yeah. this is like trial run. Um, one like mine, you can, you can do somebody else and yourself. And like, I, I'll interview you, you know what I mean? I can turn yeah. the tables around anytime. So if you want to be next, we can do it next. But I like this two week to a month kind of interval where you don't have to like, I'm not thinking about it. Like I knew about it, yeah. but I was like, okay, I'll be prepared. You know what I mean? I, I know like way in advance. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll even probably have like something cool to talk about and I'll be, I won't be anxious. Like I wasn't anxious. I was like, Psh, this is going to be dope. Like this is going to be fun. Um, but I think it would be good because you can share ideas. You yourself as the toy photographer around the round table creator and it's on your page. Um, it'll be great to see you evolve too. So not only will your followers be seeing you evolve as a person, we'll also see it in your photography because I already have um, yeah. the way you do your videos for that last one. I was like, <laughs> whoa so my awesome. editing super simple i'm just super simple but like that video was really good you know oh, what i mean like um, I, I can i can honestly tell you that like i watch some of my friends videos and like i i i, I end up scrolling through a little bit because all of my friends we kind of ramble on but that video from yeah. start to finish was great you executed it oh, cheers, so awesome. well like it, i'm not even trying to like blow smoke up your ass yeah, it but, was literally like oh uh, wow this is great but at the beginning the, the shot everything was so clean and crisp and it didn't feel like too much. I didn't yeah. feel like there was too much cutting. I didn't feel like it was not enough. I didn't feel like you weren't talking enough. It was, just, it flowed really well and it gave a good story about who you are yeah. and what you're oh, trying to do. Like that, it, it was perfect. And I think this is uh, a great way to develop yourself even more. Cause uh, yeah. even since I, even since the first video, that second time you were more comfortable. And then yeah, definitely. as everything yeah. progresses, like your photography has gotten more comfortable. You're trying new things. You're doing, you're being inspired and you're like, you know yeah. what, I'm going to try this. Like I'm inspired by this person. So I'm going to try it. It's not going to be like theirs, but I'm going to do it because yeah. it's awesome. And yeah. I think I can do it too. So let me give it a try. And that's what's fun to watch about you. And that's why I'm super yeah. stoked to be a part of what you're doing here because it's there's so, a lot of potential for sad. everyone to like really get to know each other. And like, we don't have yeah. to hang out. Um, but like, say we all like end up at like a convention or if some of us end up at a convention, we can like talk to each other. Or if we end up, creating our own toy photography yeah. convention through the community because i mean it's huge dude yeah and if we got, if we got it to that big I, I swear like some of these people like all you have to do is take get it a nice print you know what i mean you can sell prints that are lower quality than your photo for less you still be making some money you can show your art uh your favorite piece you can even randomly have people choose your favorite piece and just show it you know it's a huge yeah. toy con have the figure displayed how the picture is you know what i mean it'd be super super cool to do something like that because uh yeah. i feel like everybody has such potential and a lot of us are um not great in social settings yeah or public well, speaking it's, um, but we it's, all have something it's funny that you touched up upon the um like the whole like toy convention or like uh some sort of like meet up kind of thing because like um jared uh, well sorry dork was doing like uh everyone like meets up in like Japan and then like they all go and take photos and that. And he, he'd set that up, but obviously due to this pandemic, like that's had to be postponed and stuff, but like things like that would eventually be amazing. Like the, the more that round the round table goes on, we all start knowing each other comfy with it, everyone. Then yeah, like can trips away could, could be like the next progression of it. And then because I mean, you they always yeah. the condo sort of small, you know, it could be a small gallery. Um, yeah. You could start your gallery yeah. in the UK, you know what I mean? And then we could start stateside. And then as each individual um, spot gets bigger, because you don't want to, I mean, like you live all the way over there. 
And I live all the way over here. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to break the bank to do what we're doing until it's established. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to rush. You want to small, small, grow, grow, grow. And then we might even find people that, like, who don't even post on Instagram. That's the problem. Some people post specifically on Twitter. There's some yep. fire stuff on Twitter. I don't even have Twitter, but I'm like, oh, what? Are you serious? There's some people who customize Transformers that I'm like, get an Instagram. Are you are you out of your mind? No, there's loads of like, like, people need to do this. <laughs> There's loads of Facebook just toy photographers that I'm like, oh, God, there's God. Like, well, I don't have it. Well, and they don't post, they don't have an Instagram. And I understand why. Um, some of them, like I've asked some people why. And it's just uh, the algorithms are weird or they're just not comfortable with the platform. Yeah. Or, like with some of the yeah. our people, they're like, oh, Facebook's dumb. And I'm like, yeah, Facebook's weird. It's definitely weird. It's not like yeah. super easy. You know what I mean? But like yeah. when you get the hang of it, like when you just, and you're in one group, you it start you start to navigate through that just one group and that's teaching you how to navigate through the whole thing and I I just don't understand Twitter like yeah, I, too, I, um, I know, it's been around forever but I don't know random people just used to follow me and stuff and like I randomly get like retweets of just like random stuff and like you get, like I had like a thousand followers randomly and I was like I was uncomfortable it was like yeah, yeah. really weird I'm like I'm not talking I'm just I'm mad because my teacher said something dumb or somebody did something dumb like I'm just bitching. <laughs> And just and like, you guys are like all over this. Like I didn't like that. It was like they really liked negativity. So yeah. I left that like years ago. I've got this, it. So this, this has been an uh, awesome chat and it just makes it easier for me to progress this series, man. Like it's actually been awesome. And I think like we do need to do maybe like one on one things more um throughout like the <laughs> right, as well. Because it could be like you and like I'll do you next and then yeah. you can do somebody else and then I could I could do uh, somebody else. And then, you know what I mean? You don't have to be the only one um, who does it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, exactly. We can work it out over time. But uh, you're just the editing king right now. And uh, my computer is <laughs> dumbed out until I get it back from replacement. So, uh, but until then, I definitely don't mind uh, interviewing people. You know what I mean? I think, it, I think yeah, it's man. fun. Um, even if we, like, double up on a video, you know what I mean? I'm asking specific questions about something, and you ask specific questions about something. And we have somebody, like, new, you know what I mean? Instead of, like, so we all, like, you can rotate. You can have, like, double people. Like, there's so much you can do with it that you shouldn't feel nervous about trying yeah, yeah, new things. Yeah, yeah. Like, the whole point of a new channel is to just try new things and, like, get a good grip and have everybody, like, be happy about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I had so much fun watching that one. I've watched it probably two or three times back because yeah. it was fun. Some of them, they, some of them, some of the answers and responses and especially just, Adam. Man, yeah, yeah, he's, he's so funny. <laughs> His class, his bow tie and his pink shirt, his uh, was amazing. It was man. so funny. Like everything he said was like funny. I don't know, like, and every, it was so. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand like where he came from. But <laughs> holy, he's hilarious. Yeah, man. I, like I couldn't even talk. Like, sometimes I just stop talking because I'm like, I just want to listen to him talk. He's gonna say something funny. <laughs> yeah. And he did every time. I'm like, oh man, I'm just. Cause I talked way more in the first version than the other one, but I was like. He's so funny. I don't need to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, man, this is but, yes, awesome. man, it was great. And we're at what, like an hour yeah, and uh, I hope to, uh, I hope to talk to you soon. Yeah. I'm I'm bad at the ramble, <laughs> so it's, we're in the same yeah, boat. Me too. I'm still new. To but um, yeah. But, uh, I'll the- talk to you later. Uh, fun uh, editing. This uh, has been episode one, of the one to one of Round the Round Table. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, Scotty's. Super awesome. Follow me on Instagram at KL Toy Box. You can also find me on YouTube at K.L Collectibles. There's only yeah. like five videos, but they're good. Yeah. They're the good ones that I left. And then also follow us on Power Rangers 365. Um, it's a fun place to be if you're into Power Rangers Toku or anything like that. And uh, if you ever are just interested in multiple collectibles, I made my own Facebook page just to support my Instagram. It's K or London's Toy Box on Facebook. And uh, same with Instagram. So thank you so much for volunteering yeah. to interview me. And yeah, I will see you. all of you guys eventually yeah. in my own channel, but I'll probably see you again on Scotty's channel too. So thank yeah, you so you much will. for watching everyone. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on everything that this man posts. Hit that notification bell because it's super important. Um, or if you're not going to hit the bell, at least check on, on the page every week because possibly there could be something really cool. And also follow Scotty on his Instagram at Scotty's Photography. And on Facebook as well, because he has uh, his own page up there too. So make sure to do all those things, and I will catch you guys next time. And my earbuds are up. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> I love it, man. Thanks so much. Right, dude. I'll take it easy. Hey, bro. Bro.
Well, what an episode that has been. Kale Toy Box, it has been a pleasure. It's been such an awesome episode and thank you guys for watching. Exactly like Kira said, smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already and there is going to be a ton, a ton more content like this. So um, I really need to get a haircut. I hate this pandemic, but um, thanks guys. See you in the next one.